Hello, hello everyone. I am Dmitry Grasimov, Cell of Cell Frame, and today is our longer awaited stream. Uh, you know, we skipped a few streams before, and now we changed our schedule a little. Now we'll run our stream every two weeks, not every week, just because, you know, we need to collect some news for you, some interesting things. And so, as always, let's start with the news, and first news uh, is our new logo. Uh, the community has been suggesting we change the colors of our brand for a long time. So we listened to the advice and changed not only the side, but also the logo. I like these colors. Uh, I believe, I hope you too. Uh, now the basic color of the brand is uh, electric purple. Uh, this color is associated with uh, science, post-quantum technologies, or uh, just with quantum technologies, with physics and progress. Uh, lime is an essence color which reminds the old school of developers which I belong personally. Uh, old school is the best school. <laughs> uh, only the most meaningful information remains on the main page. Uh, what is a cell frame? What is uh, What it allows you to get and why it takes a profit? All technical details and secondary blocks are now on some page to make links more specific. That's I am talking about site, by the way. Sorry. Uh, now, cell frame SDK update that we did for the last uh, last four weeks for last month. Uh, we have significantly updated the node. We added uh, some. Uh, first, we have added uh, sub zero network and master branch. Uh, search by hash in ladder, uh, backup uh, with 24 words and backup from file, uh, and what's uh, most important, replacement of uh, dead links uh, with uh, to receive by DNS uh, its update. What does it mean? Uh, when you run your cell frame node, uh, it find uh, another nodes, uh, receive information about them and bring up links. Uh, it's a uh, minimum three links, as I remember, uh, but usually it's between three and five. Uh, and sometimes they disconnect, it lost connection, and when it lost connection, it said DNA, special DNS request just to hide it from DPI or something like this. Uh, it's masquerading, uh, masquerading against uh, DPI, and uh, when, for example, became blocking for some maybe uh, government decide to close its country or something like this. It could help to uh, to uh, uh, get cell frame node to stay connected and uh, pass uh, through blocks with help of other node. Remember, we have VPN working over the, our cell frame nodes, and this should make our uh, ecosystem straight against blocking with DPI. Uh, also, there are smaller updates like a universal package uh, for all Linux distributions. I mean Debian-based Linux distributions. Uh, by the way, we remember Red Hat uh, RPM-based distributions are also will be, will be supported soon. Um, we have optimized queries to so-called global database. Um, I don't remember. I uh, told about this before or not, we have some kind of distributed uh, database. Um, it's uh, sometimes we call it whitelist, and maybe if you are familiar with uh, Bitcoin source code, you know there are such things like whitelist that uh, just distributed, um, just di just distributed list of nodes. So we have uh, a little more complicated. Uh, uh, database, distributed database uh, subsystem, and we have implemented its queries for backend uh, drivers. Drivers could be our own or could be a stock SQL driver like PostgreSQL or SQLite, and sometimes it requires for enterprise implementation. Mm, by the way, we also have updated some enterprise code related with it. It's, we, uh, it's called CDB. I will talk about CDB, I think, uh, next stream. It's about enterprise application of our SDK. And of course, we have fixed a ton of bugs. We'll publish a detailed log of changes on our website soon. 
And now let's go for upcoming change for the dashboard application. Uh, I mean self-framed dashboard. Uh, a lot of changes, may, you could find them in uh, not only in master branch, but also in development uh, branch. Development branch has uh, all the latest future, mostly uh, very related with depths. Uh, first, we uh, updated the package also. Now it's uh, became more universal. It contains self-frame node on Linux. Also, we fixed uh, UI on some pages and new page uh, and added a new page to manage depths. So we have special widget inside our dashboard where there are depths. Um, by the way, we have two widgets, one to control install it. Maybe you have installed it not from our ecosystem. It's also possible. Uh, and uh, built-in, uh, we can say it's store, it's repository. Yes, it's uh, depths repository. Uh, by the way, about depths repository, I want to talk a little about our politics. Uh, it's more like uh, Apple politics with their app storage. So every dApp that will include an official repository uh, will be verified manually by our specialist team. Uh, sorry, if you want to have some more freedom with dApps uh, application please build your own part chain maybe uh, ever you could uh, have uh, 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 to connect your parrot chain with um, cell slot and, and put it on a backbone and be in our ecosystem just we are talking about uh, right now uh, core network uh, core shard or core part chain core network it's a bridge between worlds so this bridge uh, should be uh, as safe as hell and to uh, make it safe uh, we uh, we did such strong rules for uh, dubs uh, running on a core network other parachains could have different rules up to their creators or their owners or its uh, community depends from their rules so on um, this was there is widget to see how to operate with depths. Uh, we have finished API for depths uh, right now. It's uh, documenting most of the, this documentation is done as I know, and soon we'll uh, uh, put it together and uh, we'll start to make some tutorials. But about tutorials, we'll talk a little later. Let's return to dep to dashboard. Um, Okay, we added also some UI updates, mostly again related with depths. We, really, we have reworked setting pages, uh, added ability to hide some menu lab, menu tabs, uh, copy wallet address and show hide some depths. Uh, also added scroll command in the field extensibility to the console page. Uh, by the way, console page became more user friendly. Uh, if it's not, please feel free and write to our development group about this. Uh, while restoring the wallet in the, uh, one of these ways, added the ability to return to the main restore panel. Uh, translated all values from Datoshi to token units. I mean, we have some something like GUI. Uh, we call it Datoshi. Uh, it's uh, one uh, billion part of uh, one coin and uh, was um, somewhere were the Toshis, somewhere were coins. Now everywhere is coins, uh, by default it's coins. <clears throat> uh, also, we added some automatic selection of the chain uh, for transferring according to the current network. So you don't need to select sub chain to send your transaction. Uh, it will be selected automatically. Uh, edit node logs page where you, where you could uh, uh, observe your cell frame node uh, log information and then maybe experts that could help for QI for further analysis by the support team. Uh, and also we have reduced CPU load uh, by uh, increased resolution of icons and fixed some UI bugs. Feel free to download, try it. I I believe you will like, you will like it. And now the next uh, news, uh, next topic that we'll talk about a little bit about hackathons. Yes, we'll uh, run hackathons for developers. 
many people wonder if we prepare hackathons. Yes, definitely yes. We prepare hackathons together with our new partners, uh, Finstry. It's educational center uh, based in India. And we'll hold webinars together, make video tutorials and education videos. Uh, of course, for hackathons that will be run it after this. So first we run uh, webinars, uh, issue video tutorials, and then we run hackathons. For hackathons, uh, hackathon winners will be prizes. Prizes are already prepared and they are waiting you, de our new developers. <clears throat> And mm, let's talk a little more about the pen test uh, that should be at the end of the January. Uh, public pen test will start the next week and the rules will be also published uh, next week at Monday or Tuesday. For now, you could already start to test uh, basic network protocols, cryptography. Uh, generally, everything is ready for pen test except uh, consensus. Uh, that I want to note a little. Uh, right now we have few consensuses and in current testnet there are only proof of authority chains. This you could already start to test, find <clears throat> find the issue and you'll be granted. Uh, for uh, budget for grants also is ready. Uh, just uh, um, one thing that is excluded from this pen test for now, it's a uh, uh, proof of stake based consensus. I'm talking about uh, tone consensus and uh, hash graph consensus. With this, we need to let, uh, wait a little more until developers uh, finish this finish this code. <clears throat> Sorry. And then we'll start to grant uh, ethical hackers with it anyway. As everything else is ready for pen test and you could start to t uh, test our cryptography, our network protocols, uh, maybe some work with files, anything, anything except proof of stake based consensus is ready for pen test. More details, uh, more details will publish at Monday or Tuesday with more detailed rules. Anyway, our SDK is more than a million lines of code, so if you are not familiar with it, it's a good time to start uh, to study it. And uh, all the documentation is uh, present on wiki.cellframe.net. It's updated often. Please visit the site, check it, <clears throat> and use it. And I hope you like our SDK. We have, you know, uh, two SDK. Our core SDK is C-based, and over this is also the, it's available uh, Python-based uh, SDK. It's wrapping about around C-based, so it's present. And the next thing that we want to announce today is a testnet explorer. I am talking about Web Explorer. Uh, with this, uh, it uh, could be uh, obtained already on uh, our test domain. Let me check it. Uh, it's a uh, um, <clears throat> test minus explorer dot and in uh, nearest hour or maybe two, really left not so much. Uh, it will be moved uh, to the. Oh, it's all already moved. I see. <laughs> okay, yes, it's present. Explorer.cellframe.net. You're welcome. And uh, and now let's switch to the next hour chapter. That's about questions. Questions that you have sent for us before this AMA. And let's start from your first question. This is a cell frame. Is a quantum resistant blockchain. But what about common DDoS and other old school attack? Yeah, we know something about old school, yeah. Uh, that are probably causing problem to chain like Solana. Uh, they can be a threat to cell frame, thanks. Only the cure about uh, against the old school attacks is the old school defense. Because we develop everything based on C code, uh, we are more straight against the DOS because we uh, could pro process uh, 
um, hundreds, thousands, some millions of requests at the same time uh, because of uh, our input-output subsystem. Uh, it's multiplexing input and output uh, requests, uh, putting them together to reduce uh, contact switch between kernel space and user space. It were a lot of strange words that describe that why uh, it works fast. Uh, I don't know exactly what is input-output sus subsystem in uh, Solana node, but I accept, expect that it's composite on too high level, because all that I will talk about before is uh, possible to make uh, fast only on low level. So, cannot say that uh, it's impossible to make DDoS attack. DDoS always possible, just I want to say that will be more straight against DDoS attack, because we have really uh, high performance uh, backend. Uh, that's advantage of C code, by the way. <clears throat> the next question, the next question, will it be easy for existing projects to migrate to self-rain network? Uh, depends from uh, the project, uh, we'll, we do everything for easy, migra easy migration. Do they have to occur slot? Uh, no, it's not uh, required for everyone to occur slot. Look, uh, mostly you occur slot to be listed in self frame dashboard list of uh, networks or built-in self frame default uh, build of uh, node. Uh, also, all this uh, built-in. Uh, there are more differences related with technical details, but for user it's more important that he, uh, he will see uh, your part chain, its abilities, its native token, and uh, if you don't need it, or you don't, uh, you will not need sell slot. <clears throat> you could just issue your token based ever on our core network when existing part chain and uh, 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 send us your your dep uh, we'll verify uh, publish it in our repository and it will be available for <coughs> for all our users mm. um, if not what will be the difference between developers who have in slots and that's one who hasn't i think i have answered about this yes <clears throat> about how easy depends from the project. We'll do everything to make it as easy as possible. The next question, I see this question a lot of time, it's about TPS or uh, uh, TFF. Uh, what's the maximum TPS achieved in the testnet? Uh, because we have not so uh, much of transactions, you could see it's about 100. Uh, we just haven't measured it. Uh, sorry, I hope we'll do this on the next week. We just need some to have some some more calm situation with bugs. When we'll over with everything. Also, right now we will measure uh, TPS. We'll measure it only for proof of authority, because we want also to measure uh, time for finalization that you are asking about. Uh, we need to run it uh, with uh, proof of stake based consensus. Uh, consensus says we, because we have a lot of different subchains with different consensuses. <coughs> so we are waiting for the end of this work and after the, we'll measure. However, I think we could also measure with proof of authority because it's important for enterprise usage. You know, it's. Uh, and uh, also it shows, uh, let's say so, um, uh, some average, some average or some approximation of a possible TPS for uh, proof of stake based consensus because uh, you know, proof of authority just compartment of uh, signatures. So if you know that uh, with uh, three or maybe five verification of signature, we have uh, an TPS, we could uh, say, we could approximate that with, uh, for example, minimum 10 uh, 
ver uh, 10 verifications, uh, 10, or after 10 confirmations, we'll have n uh, divided by 3, something like this. Uh, so, <clears throat> yes, we'll do, we'll try to do it on the next week, I believe, we'll have a time. And the next question. <clears throat> the layer one projects are on fire nowadays. I am looking forward to self frame to join this project. But these projects like Polkadot have more than a thousand developers. Do you think you and your team can keep up the pace on long term? About layer one projects, yes. Last year, as I remember, uh, most grow. Uh, the faster growing uh, tokens were related with GameFi on first place, and second place were alternative L1 projects like uh, Cell. Uh, and uh, how we'll compete with uh, Polkadot and others, uh, you will see nearest few, uh, months when we'll run hackathons and we'll start to fill our ecosystem with depths. Uh, our goal is to show that our devs has benefits. It's not just running same code on the same uh, technologies, just with uh, with uh, lower gas gas price. No, no. We want to show a different uh, picture that differs from uh, other ecosystems. You have uh, heard before I told about uh, verification for repository. This repository will be dedicated. This verification will be put in blockchain. And uh, verification uh, one time became not so centralized like it's uh, right now. It became community-based and community will start to verify uh, its own depths. And we have also other... Uh, other features, uh, for example, we'll have uh, built in uh, uh, built in this verification process. Uh, how to say it? Um, one part of blockchain that helps for Debs author to obtain its fee. Usually, fee is uh, a built-in centralized part of a distributed application because it's smart contract. It could uh, collect together cash flows, and then its author collects some fee. Because we have truly dedicated service, when everyone could run the service and uh, earn on this, we need some uh, other mechanism to grant uh, its authors for its creators. Uh, with some monies and uh, this will be built in this verification process it will be built in in uh, so-called conditional transactions so uh, we'll announce it a little later and uh, when we'll start to show how it will be used how it will work how will such application will work uh, based on these uh, differences, I believe we'll see adventures, all adventures in same time. And at this moment, we'll see uh, DAPS, uh, fog based applications should become uh, more interesting than cloud based services. Be remember, we'll compete not with Polkadot. Our competitor is not Polkadot, Cosmos, Ada, Cardano, or anything else. Our competitor is Google. Our competitor is Facebook. Uh, so we want to make some products uh, that replace cloud-based uh, things. Uh, similar, uh, similar idea has, for example, Definity project. They want to replace Amazon with a dedicated hosting and uh, I wanted to collaborate with them if they will like this idea uh, and maybe do something similar some dedicated uh, truly dedicated service that could run uh, fog based service that will replace cloud service provided by big corporation nobody likes corporations and uh, I I also and I want to to make uh, just to replace cloud with Fox, let's say so. Okay, <clears throat> another question. What is going on 
with a test net. It's running just maybe with some subchains that we have announced before. I am talking about Sendermint based subchain. We decided to not to run it and prepare it on based subchain, but right now it has zero chain and supper chain with proof of authority consensus. It's enough to start to test. You could join to us, I see in uh, our development, uh, public development group that people joins, receive tokens, test networks, they, yes, they notice box, they send this box to us, we are working with box, but generally it works. And you know, I told before that we run explorer.cellframe.net, uh, explorer it's working. So you could check you know, by yourself what happens with testnet. Next question. <clears throat> The next question is, once dev team tokens has uh, have all been spent, where will be new funding to cover ongoing self frame development come from? We're working this year, we have planned to work this year on this. Uh, there are different plans. First, we are focused on enterprise application of our SDK. And by the way, right now we have some requests. Uh, also, will be some direct sell, uh, direct sales of sell slot. It will be some OTC <laughs> or something like this. Few slots will be sell directly, um, and um, it will be used for funding. And uh, also, there are plans to run some part chains and maybe issue some tokens related with this. Uh, mostly it's related with game five. We have some plans in to make a child company that will work in game five direction. It's right now we are organizing this company and uh, there are other plans. Uh, I don't want to tell all about this, but we have a plans. <laughs> so the next question. How the cell DeFi will look like? What kind of applications are you planning to develop about DeFi? <coughs> DeFi is a decentralized finance. It's a uh, it's complicated thing because uh, usually these decentralized financials, finances are they not so decentralized like we think. Uh, usually there is decentralized, decentralized execution of code that process these uh, financials, but uh, itself it's centralized. There is contract address, one contract address, and it collects all fees from cash flows, as I told before. If we are talking about uh, truly dedicated service, for example, we are, if we are talking about truly dedicated exchange, it's TDX, like we told, uh, we call it. It's like sex with orders, but this without fees, zero fee. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, right now we are talking about author uh, fees, so maybe we could say because uh, truly uh, TDX, we are authors of this TDX, and we we'll could collect this fee uh, for self frame funding for project funding we are still thinking about this because you know everyone could create same decks but without fee so we are thinking about this however we also have plans to run uh, such centralized defy uh, stock defy usual defy like you used to use and uh, we'll run smart contracts Smart contracts will be run to uh, this uh, TD app, so everyone could earn on running uh, the smart contracts. There will be WSM based, EVM based, and uh, will be compatibility level uh, layer, compatibility layer that allows to run your DeFi to port your DeFi from Ethereum from BSC to the cell frame, so it will be possible. Uh, most of our partners are waiting for such ability because they have such usual DeFi and uh, they want to, they need smart contract uh, virtual machine and we'll prepare it. 
for sure. What kind of application are you planning to develop? By ourselves, by uh, our company, are planning to prepare dedicated storage, dedicated stream platform, dedicated uh, CDN, and maybe something else dedicated. Dedicated, uh, dedicated exchange, truly dedicated exchange. That's what we are planning to run by ourselves. The next question, uh, what will be the future staking program? There will be two staking program. One is for pairs with BUSD, USDT, and you could uh, think that it's already run. It's already started. You could go to PancakeSwap on Uniswap and uh, stake your cell with uh, Ethereum, with BNB, with USDT or BUSD. <coughs> By myself, I prefer BUSD. <coughs> so, and uh, as older your LP token uh, will be, as more time you will keep your tokens in uh, Uniswap or Pancake pool as more po as more scores you will have for auction uh, bidding when you bid it in auction you will uh, you will obtain a uh, uh, project token uh, right now auctions are under update we will uh, maybe to also talk about this a little later <coughs> <coughs> sorry uh, so this about uh, pairs taken about single coins taken, it will be run after mainnet launch because uh, these fees are collecting from fee based on uh, service providing. So, because when in running mainnet nodes provide some dedicated service, they will need a stake, and for the stake, they share their profit with stakeholder. So, that's a basement for single token staking that will be run after 20. After 21st March. <clears throat> the next question. <clears throat> what about develop uh, Bitcoin's quantum proof side chain sister chain? We have to plan. Uh, we have to integrate. Uh, to bring up integration with Bitcoin. I have to talk about this. And by the way. Definity. That I was, uh, have mentioned before. Uh, not, uh, not long time ago. They run it, uh, integration of Bitcoin with their dedicated uh, uh, computer. And uh, we are also planning the same integration when uh, Bitcoin holders could uh, join uh, for, uh, to trustless pools and stay in uh, Bitcoin network and earn on these Bitcoins. Uh, I mean to provide bridging, for example, between Bitcoin and uh, cell frame and provide uh, rapid Bitcoin tokens in cell frame core networks <coughs> and uh, earn on the staking. So for Bitcoin holders, it will be like single token Bitcoin staking, something like this. <coughs> That's our plans. Will cell frame subjected to an external audit? Yes, yes, it will be. Uh, it will be at the end of February before the launch. What is the plan to develop cell? Uh, the next question. What is the plan to develop cell ecology? As I told before, we prepare with our new partners. We prepare webinars. They will do webinars, video tutorials. And then we'll run hackathons. Hackathons international, some hackathons based on our, uh, on some uh, local local sites like Novosibirsk, and uh, we have cell grants. We have a budget for cell grants <coughs> that will be uh, will be given for hackathons uh, winners, and then these winners could. Uh, continue to develop their project, run this pre this project, uh, maybe run some start, uh, maybe as in individual, or maybe form some startup company, and um, ecology will grow. I see it like this. Okay, that was about, uh, that was prepared questions. Now let's see what happens in uh, our stream chat. 
How ch your questions in stream chat on Twitch on YouTube. First Twitch. Mm, glad to see improvements on SDK and details about node revenue. Uh, node revenue is formed by uh, providing services. VPN, smart contract executions, uh, transactions fees, uh, exchange liquidity, liquidity provided for AMM, anything like this. And <clears throat> all the revenue, revenue is, will be based on services, no, will be no omission. Uh, will, uh, will the website get face uplift from the color change and log changes? Yes, it will be updated soon. And the question from YouTube chat. Let's see. Is there any relation between Depth Cache and Cell Frame? It's yes, Depth Cache is our pet project. Uh, maybe in future it will be like Kusama related with uh, Polkadot. But for now it's, uh, it's uh, just pause it a little until mainnet launch. First, we need to launch cell frame and net, then we'll return to Depp cache. Okay. <clears throat> staking news today. I have told about staking. Sorry, guys, about listing. Please <laughs> don't ask. I cannot answer about listing at all. It's an unanswerable question. Same about what's the next exchange. Mm. Mm. Hi Dmitry, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> when launch satellite? I have such idea. Uh, there is a satellite 3D printer in the near uh, city in Tomsk city. I'm thinking about to uh, visit this uh, team that's working with a 3D printer and maybe to really to run some micro satellite. I I like this idea. But first we need to release mainnet. After mainnet we should prepare some stable build, some you know hardware based node, and this node could uh, fly in space, cell like space. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Any useful news here? Depends from what you think is useful. Okay, that's I have answered. Wait and sell auctions. Yes, they will be updated soon. Uh, why we hold with auctions? Because uh, we develop a platform for bridging. You know, we need to run our own bridge with uh, Ethereum and BC. And uh, I hope at the beginning of the next month, we'll show you the bridge with testnet, with Ethereum testnet, uh, between Ethereum testnet and Sub-Zero. And it will be a dedicated bridge. Uh, I'm not sure about uh, Trustless on this stage. Uh, but we are working in, on this. Uh, I don't know what we'll do is based on uh, ZK rollups, I believe so. Because without ZK rollups, we can't make a change of... Uh, uh, <clears throat> became, we cannot make a check with uh, thousands and thousands verification, you know. We we'll need to, without this, we will need pro to process thousands and thousands transactions for any every state processing. And uh, to prevent this, we need to first to implement the care labs. By the way, the next month I accept a lot of news from our cryptography team. Uh, we have updated our cryptography team in December, and it's uh, really strong right now. And we prepare uh, the key rollups, we prepare the key snarks, uh, uh, we prepare uh, updates of our current realization of Crystal Delitium and uh, other uh, cryptography protocols. Maybe we'll develop something our own, by the way. Uh, we are moving on this uh, direction to make our own uh, cryptography protocol, maybe to participate in. Uh, 
we can to be to participate it right now i i am not sure right now it's a what is third round pass it in NIST institute okay don't mind let's return to the questions cost of transaction it will be formed by market every node because transaction transaction processing it's also service so Aaron could suggest I will process transaction for I don't know for one cell another says another place order on uh, uh, zero dot zero 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 one cell for one transaction and uh, it will work like open market when everyone could suggest its own price and uh, it will be how much uh, it's, it will be so big uh, as as market will form it so i don't know i believe it will be low really low because we have c based code it's very effective it has high performance so um, i don't see the reason to have it high okay okay Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's the questions? Any airdrop for public testnet? Um, no, not planned. Okay, when ready for security audits for uh, for sec for community security audits. We have already everything except consensus. You could start. Uh, again, about listing, about listing, about listing. A lot of questions about listing. Guys, please stop. Ask about something different. <laughs> what about KLVPN? It's working. As I remember, they will run some Minkowski network. They their new testnet, but that's that's more questions for KLVPN team. <clears throat> trending, trending, exchange, when? Okay, one more exchange, guys. You are killing me. Will we get TPS results next week, most likely? End of month, next week, some approximated uh, results, I told it. Okay, okay. Uh, and the last and the question: Are the projects currently building with SDK and likely to launch after may not launch? I have requests uh, for from such uh, projects. I have, uh, for example, tomorrow I have a call with uh, with one company. They're talking, maybe you will see sometimes in trending on Dex tools, and maybe sometimes you see their uh, ads on different uh, platforms. Uh, I can't name it, but they want to use our SDK for their purposes, and they are not alone. We So th there are such projects, yes. Uh, when start hackathons as soon as possible next week we'll need we need one week I think for prepare webinars then we'll run webinar so two or three week and then we'll start so we start and the second half of the February this hackathons will be start I will try to run it as fast as possible really for now we have uh, we have sell grants so you could uh, if you have some idea already has idea you have you have idea uh, you could start your startup based on self frame SDK already right now and show me some prototype right in DM uh, DM uh, for our admins uh, right personally to me show us some prototype and you could have some sell grants already so we could say that hackathons are already started. Let's say so. Okay. <clears throat> when squirrels? <laughs> uh, when I'll find some time. I had some time at uh, January hol holidays, but they are over and I don't know when. 
maybe some weekend I will go to the nearest forest and uh, will make some shots. Uh, by the way, chipmunks are hibernated right now. So first chipmunks photos you will see maybe in April, it will be, if I'll be lucky when they wake up. <laughs> uh, but I will. Uh, but this weekend I will go uh, to make some birds photos. So until we'll have no any squirrels in my uh, Twitter, I will post some birds. I hope to make good shots with owls this weekend. Okay, is the auditing started? Any ETA for auditing? For public I have answered. For private auditing it will be at the end of February. Dmitry, do, 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 you did not say where do we have to keep the LP, in the cell pool or Uniswap? Right now no difference, so you could just take on Uniswap, we have no cell pools right now. We, there are Uniswap and Pancake pools with cell, so stake some cell in these pools and keep it as long as possible, you have more scores to, be, uh, to vote with them and to obtain more project tokens and others and etc okay <clears throat> so i think it's enough for today thank you for all your questions thank you for all the support we'll see you the, after two weeks and we are sell we are here goodbye <laughs>